my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your reading for the month of August. I'm Miss Edie. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, guys, welcome back. It's always great to see you, my beautiful gems. Thank you so much for all your comments and feedback. It means so much to me. I'm working my way through them, so don't worry. I'll get back to you. I love hearing how they relate to your situations. And thank you so much for all the beautiful feedback, as well as, I, you know, I love to hear where you're watching from. So please share it with me. Let us know. And maybe you might be able to support one another in the chats below. So definitely share that, guys. Super huge shout out to my bestie. I love you, girl. Thank you again, my best friend. She made these awesome nails. I'm so grateful because I get to get spoiled. And I love you, boo-boo. Thank you. Uh, we're going to get into your reading this month. Again, it's going to be different. I keep surprising you just like the new hair. Let me know what you think. I love it. I'm excited. Uh, romance angels, we're going to see what your messages are for my beautiful Geminis. What's coming towards you for the month of August? A lot of fun stuff here. Okay, <laughs> not gonna see those because I didn't even. There's too many. Let's see. Romance angels, please. What are the messages from my beautiful Gemini's? Right off the bat, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. There may be some work needed in the connection, or maybe some more effort. Ooh, ooh, I. See. I don't know which one to start with because they're really good. Um, I'm going to get one more before I get in there, but I'm going to keep you in suspense. Don't you love it? I'm like, okay, well then, see, the cards are on your side. They won't even let me tease you for like two seconds. <laughs> Romance angels, past life connection, past life relationship. You have known each other before. That's why I feel like this connection is very, very strong, very, very powerful. Guys, I think I'm just gonna end it with the Romance Angels this month because you already got past life connection and a soulmate. Can I get a hell yeah? You guys got the soulmate here. So yes, this is your soulmate. Yes, the connection is strong. I feel like past life for sure. You guys are meant to meet during this time. That's why the connection is so strong. They're so familiar. The bodies might be new, but the souls recognize each other. I'm done. Honestly, I love you guys, but this is this is short reading, shortest reading ever for Gemini. Attraction. Here we go. You enjoy this moment fully. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Now, not only are you attracting your soulmate, your past life relationship, your past life soulmate destined to meet each other in this lifetime, you've attracted them because you are so fine and beautiful attracting this energy, but darlings, it is a true love. The true love. This is the relationship and romance of a lifetime. Thank you for coming. I appreciate all of you. <laughs> I'm just joking. We're going to take it further. For the rest of us who are still waiting for this beautiful love to come in. But Geminis, I'm so happy for you guys because you deserve this. So past life connection, really strong connection, very strong love. Just beautiful. Honestly, everything. There's so much embrace. I feel like if things aren't going the way they're meant to, don't you worry because you guys are like absolutely destined, okay? We're using the lover's oracles. Let's see what's coming in for the lover's oracles for... Our, what? That was fast. Thank you guys for being so... That one fell out too and I'm going to keep it. Got a few lovers oracles here. Let's see what they're saying. The first one is balance, Gemini, yin and yang energy here. Let's see what it says. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges and it falls on this one. We're just talking about putting that effort. Ooh, a balance needs to be done. Maybe one of you is not putting in effort. Maybe the other one is, but it's requiring that equal, um, you know, that reciprocation, reciprocation of feelings reciprocation of actions now we have acceptance so acceptance is key to inner peace at times we must accept things as they are there is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control so just allowing things and of course if you can't deny the connection and maybe maybe this isn't someone right they say your soulmate can differ from your usual type so you don't understand why you're so drawn to this person because everything about them is not your type. But sometimes the reason why we're single is our type. <laughs> so take notices. Wow, here, beautiful. Surrender. Love it. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and it will work out. So some of you may be ending it with a soulmate if that's the situation. You know, sometimes soulmates aren't always the happy story we think. But it is about a soul, soul lesson, a contract, right? Or for others of you, it's about surrendering to the connection. Past life here, you know, soulmate connection, I don't know, it could be a twin flame, I'm not saying that yet, but there is this surrendering to admitting that, you know, you are feeling what you're feeling, even if there's a part of you that's in denial, okay? <laughs> Forgiveness. 
Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine, okay? So again, that's in the attraction. Could be, of course, you needing to forgive yourself, but it says emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort our perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So there could be past forgiveness or other things that you need to heal, past life situations, perhaps even in the soulmate connection, there is some past karmas that need to be balanced, right? Some things that need to come, like I feel like if they did something to you, but you know that it's such a strong connection, it could have been something you did to them in a past life. Powerful. Then we have, beware of what you are projecting for the qualities that you admire in one another are qualities that you both possess. Equally so, the qualities that you don't like are also your own reflection. So part of this acceptance side, so I feel like if you accept the things you don't like about them, it's really actually just helping you surrender to the things that you don't like about you, but also bringing us that awareness. No judgment, right? We're all different and we all whatever because we're, we're existing. We're always ever learning here. And I feel like emotions too, you know, we could be upset. Emotions can also talk about the pride and ego too. So the attraction, enjoying the moment, being free. Why? Because y'all better watch your butts because we have romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. And I certainly think that he hit you guys from another lifetime into this lifetime. I feel like that arrow slingshot you guys into this beautiful past life love story that you guys get to live out again in this one. Again, I'm just gonna stay right here because this is, this is just take this in, sending this your way. However it will find you, God bless you and enjoy this because this looks like a beautiful, beautiful romance and a wonderful time together and you deserve it. Geminis, you deserve it. I want you to claim this reading, practice your abundance muscle to receive. It's always powerful, let's do that here. Um, now we're gonna use this one. Everybody loved these cards. I did a whole new reading for the end of July, so if you haven't seen the second half one, go check it out. If you guys are from that bunch, then awesome. Thank you so much for jumping on board. I'm gonna be incorporating them here and there, but it was such a huge hit. I'm gonna be doing it again this month, so make sure you subscribe and get the notifications so you'll get it. But we have, you have my heart, soul lovers in separation, angel uh, revelations, angelic revelations 144, and these, oh my gosh, okay, well I'm not going to read you a whole novel of stories, Gemini, you guys can talk to them yourself, okay? I feel like you guys have no problem canoodling and cuddling, so you should have a good time communicating. All right, let's see what's coming in here. Let's get a message, nice. Let's get a few more here, just because they're general readings too, right? So take what resonates. You have every power. You guys have a great reading, so I'm not I'm not going to assume anyone's going to reject any of this information. Although, um, with any of these cards, as I'm reading them, you're going to be probably thinking of someone or feeling someone's energy. Now, each card could be someone different. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the same person. And of course, it might not be for you. It might be for a fellow Gemini or a cross watcher or whoever's on here, right? We always get a cross watch on our crush to see if they're thinking about us <laughs> or what they're saying about us, right? <laughs> so it says... I cry myself asleep thinking about you. Uh, the time we have missed out on. I wish we could go back in time and change things. So this might be in a circumstance where, you know, giving it a chance. Some of you, this might be a second chance with someone. This might also be something that could have been a missed opportunity or it wasn't the right time, okay? Now that's also part of the lessons because there's so much with surrender, emotions, accepting, balancing. So there's a lot of different energies here for different people possibly, but it could be in your connection too because there's that level of maturity, that level of ascension that you have to have in the connection, especially if it is a twin flame connection. We have true love, we have soulmate, we have past life. Past life relationship, your souls are already entwined, whether they became one or they split, however it applies in your connection. Cupid here too, there are higher powers bringing the two of you together. Oh my God, it's already been 10 minutes, I'm still talking about this, here we go. Oh, <laughs> you can't see these ones are different, but anyway. I wish that you were here with me or I was there. I wish that we could be together anywhere. So I feel like this person really just wants to spend all this time with you. They don't wanna be without you and I feel like literally, like if you spent another life together, they're like, I will find you in this life too. <laughs> So, not in a weird way, in a fun way. In the way we want, right? Okay, so I think of you before I sleep. I dream of you all night and wake to think of you again. You guys, if you're already dealing with this person, you literally talk all the time. And yeah, I'm talking to you, baby. You know, so I feel like you know this. I love you not only for your beauty, but for your soul. 
keeps showing you guys, but you can't see it. I'm sorry. Our love will be alive forever because of the way you are. The way you are pure, true, authentic, real, raw, and passionate. As you definitely are. <laughs> you guys have that beautiful balance of both energies. And the balance card, too, because you are the Gemini. You know, the yin and yang, the two energies. I, oh, guys. Wow, I just got a total different download, and I don't know how to feel about it right now, but I have to talk about it. So, Edie, Edie moment here. Geminis, from my knowledge of the soul of a Gemini, to be a Gemini means that in the previous life, you had actually found your soulmate, and your souls are two in one. Wow, I don't know, I've never picked this up before, but I'm getting it, so we're going there. We're going there, guys, we're going deep, okay? This is a past connection. You guys have already, in one lifetime, met your soulmate. Now, for some reason, I'm feeling that there was a splitting of one of the souls to have that twin flame energy, where you've already found this, because the Gemini energy is built of two. You guys have already been two who became one. Now, there could be still a twin flame energy out there, and that's what's finding you in this life. And this is the true love, because that part of you that was separated after being united, <laughs> follow me here, this true love. Guys, I've never, I've never had a reading like this. I've never felt that before, and I've never got that download before, but because you're a Gemini and you already consist of that twin energy, which is the union of already previous two souls, it's a party <laughs> honestly i'm so i love that okay let's get one more here <sighs> just because of that like you guys every they love everything about you because you are the same person like that's what i'm feeling sorry i get excited here because i'm feeling so many energies i don't run from you oh i didn't run from you i ran away from myself and i'm literally telling you that you're the same person so they're running from themselves because you're mirrors of one another and you are the same person can i just where's the check check please <laughs> Here we go. It's all down to my deep fear of rejection and insecurities. So this person, or you, or both, are both facing this, right? Like this attraction, trying to focus, trying to bring this in, surrendering, you know, having the courage to do that. Beware, you know, you're waiting for them to do it. They're not doing it. You're not doing it. So it's, it's a blame game, right? We have to accept it. We have to forgive. You can't just forgive other people. We have to forgive ourselves. So if you want the progress, you want the movement, maybe you got to take a step too, baby. Your love makes me feel untouchable and invincible. You make me stronger, happier, and wiser. Your love is the greatest love I have ever known. Without a doubt. And I know you guys just had your birthday, so if it is a, if you haven't been with me yet and you're joining me now, then happy belated birthday. It was always a really good time. Uh, my, my family, every, like, surrounded by a lot of Geminis, so I do get your energy and your vibe very often, so I love it. I'm happy to connect with you as well. And of course, keep tracking back so we can get more acquainted. Now here, this is the Gilded Tarot. I'm serious, like what, what, what do you want me to say, guys? For Ace of Cups just flies right out. True love, soulmate, like I don't even need to do tarot. <laughs> I feel like everything's just like, you already know, you've already said what you need to say. Say what you need to say. <laughs> Actually, yeah, say what you need to say to this person. Magician, manifesting each other. Wow, oh my God, oh my God, okay. Where am I starting? The magician wasn't the first one, but we're going there. Manifesting this love, bringing this in. The alchemist, you know, the perfect timing here. Water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Aries or a Virgo here with the magician starting this new beginning, having all the tools to have brought this in. But the timing, the timing is everything, right? Having all the right ingredients. Maybe you've been missing the love ingredient for a while, or you've been working on this one for a while to really manifest this. And then here it's coming in. Could be a quick communication, could be some kind of message, could be some kind of contact, but fast. This can be you. You know, this can be you either cutting someone out and running away, or this can be you coming in with the truth, right? With the sword, with the light, communication, a great idea, hearing something, waiting. I have this love, come find me. And then it's like a beacon. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm just super excited today. I had a really amazing day. So I'm so excited to have this energy here with you as well. But it's after a time of difficulty. I feel like some of you, it took a lot to get back up on that horse. You've been knocked down a few times, possibly in this connection, right? Because it was talking about balancing, um, accepting, surrendering. You know, someone could be really surrendering and not fighting this anymore and being like, okay, 
it is you. And then they come racing back and it's like a Romeo and Juliet, you know, Cupid struck them in the butt and they're like, what, wait, what am I doing? Why am I fighting this? This is my person. This is who I want to be with. Queen of Swords running into you and you just basically being like, it's about time. I've been waiting for you. The queen will see you now. <laughs> but also running into this communication, you know, you can be a little bit discerning and again, we have forgiveness and all that tough energy and this is a bit of a colder energy, but the queen knows what's best. This could be you, of course, or them, however it applies, the energies are interchangeable. Um, we do have a lot of fire, so you could be dealing with another Gemini. <clears throat> We're dealing with another Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, but the communication is coming. And I feel like you're actually going to have this talk because there's light. So there's enlightening conversation coming in or communication that's going to give clarity, possibly even something you already know that they finally figured out, right? So again, standing up, having this beautiful energy of putting this out there. Again, fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries, really surrendering and kind of rushing in to have this. Um, again, could be a surprise. Maybe some of you weren't expecting this or it could be shocking, or maybe, you know, because they, maybe because they fought it for so long or because the surrender didn't happen. It's either like a surprise surrender or a surprise kind of ending, but I'm not feeling it in a negative way because we have the Queen of Wands behind her. Your match here, you know, like ice, fire and ice, nice. I feel like you guys go from like really hot to cold. So this could be you, this could be them, and I feel like that's what's confusing someone. That's what's kind of shocking. I thought things were going really good, and then now all of a sudden, boom. Or I thought things were progressing, and then all of a sudden they're not. So however this is, hot and cold, the ice queen. <laughs> it's like, you know, you're getting that kind of energy where they're feeling a little defeated. However, this can also be that whole surrounded, surrendering energy where the surrounding walls that they were building, that they were hiding behind, come crumbling down and they come in and actually tell you how bad they've been wanting you, how bad they are attracted to you. Of course, could be same sex guys. However, this applies to your situation, to queens, to kings. However, it applies, of course, male feminine energy. But someone is very attracted, very charismatic, very smart and very intelligent. Could be, of course, you. You know, you do have so many different beautiful talents and energies. We all do. And this is also kind of putting in this, you know, you're kind of surprised that they're stepping up, right? Like coming from a knight, leveling up to the courts here very beautiful energy let's get one more here and then I'm gonna do something new for you guys I've been doing it it's kind of a surprise Wow the star card you've been wishing for this you've been wishing I feel like if someone has been kind of like in and out cuz okay these two in and out quick cold emotionless in and out hot passionate feeling the pull to you possibly again it's kind of funny how these are both here let me let me sit on this I'm gonna marinate with this one because we have the definitely dealing with a fire sign or dealing with another air sign or someone with a lot of fire in their chart <laughs> you guys have a lot of great energy here but this is kind of like your wish you let you know when you want them to kind of like I don't you know this is great but I want to take it to the next level and then oh my god wait what they're I'm sticking to the cards the love okay so this one wants me to talk about it all of a sudden the the something changed it grew right water makes something grow <laughs> what I mean ladies and gentlemen big shocker <laughs> subliminal here but I feel like part of the surprise and what you were wishing for is for this change but in order for change to happen you have to have this loss right something has to fall apart to be on solid ground and I feel like they come back and they shock you and it ends up being the surprise wish that you wanted for so long that they actually come back more serious more passionately interested more you know clearly communicating their feelings which is what it is but this could also be that information that's providing you that healing that's going to help you with this communication now putting in that effort right really wanting to establish this cup of love really getting this beautiful star energy that's bringing you into that healing environment which is going to help you in terms of like actually like love is the greatest healer so i feel like if it's a true love you know when you ask that person to step up they do when you ask that person to level up they will because you're worth it and they know that and if they've been fighting the connection especially if it's a twin flame connection i'm only saying it because there's such a there's such a like opposite kind of energy which i like it but that doesn't mean that that's why it's a connection like that but there's such an opposing energies like the ice and cold fire and ice i'm telling you this fire and ice and everything nice like you guys are you're in for a good good time <laughs> let me just say that um lots lots of lots of great energy there okay so now what the new thing is that i'm doing is i'm gonna go through each zodiac so it looks like your month is gonna be 
friggin' amazing. Let's see who you're dealing with. I'm gonna go through each zodiac and how that relates to you and what they're thinking of you. We're gonna start off with Aries. So if you're dealing with an Aries, how does the Aries feel towards you? Let's see, Gilded Tarot. Who do we have? A judgment. Someone could be making a decision to walk away or someone could be make a decision to be connecting. Of course, the horn here, communication, or it's kind of like a judgment call. It's like, you know, it's like the last call, basically, especially to bring this person together. Uh, for some of you, it's a big judgment here to take this person back, to really do put in that effort with them, to really giving it a chance and getting things into a new order, or just letting it go and making room for what is to come. Because if this isn't already your current situation, please drop it, walk away, clean yourself, cleanse yourself, your whole environment, and welcome this beautiful new beginning. Because this person is going to be exactly why making this judgment call, <laughs> sounding the horn and bringing home your champion. Ooh, I like that. So you're dealing with the Aries, here they come. On the pedestal, only seeing you, I feel like he, daddy's home and everyone's gonna be celebrating. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I don't know why I'm like this today, but it's great, I love it. Could be why, you know, that destined, right? You know, the, you put out, the, it's like the mating call and then they come, however this, wow, that was inappropriate, but you know what I mean. <laughs> We're having a fantastic evening over here. I love it. Okay, so Aries, now we're gonna deal with the Taurus. If you're dealing with the Taurus, how does the Taurus feel towards you? You've been with me long enough. You know I'm funny like that. Again, I don't mean any offense in any way. Okay, we're human and you know, we're in isolation, so we have to have as much fun as we can, even if it's just here with me, okay? But I am hoping this is coming towards you. So if you're dealing with the Taurus, passionate communication could be that like fun little sexting kind of, you know, energy, flirting, um, you know, a bit, a uh, bit quick kind of communication too. And we did have, uh, Cupid strikes here. So I feel like someone could kind of come rushing in and really passionate, very hot here. Ooh, hot and heavy for sure. Because look, we have these three energies. So we have, okay, the four of wands. So rushing in to kind of build something stable. We did have the tower cards. So something had to fall apart in order to establish a solid foundation, healing, restoring all this. If you're dealing with the Taurus, definitely they want to have this offer with you or they are thinking of how to bring this together because they want to have a future with you. I feel like the healing period, the victory here of overcoming a lot of things, they could be also just having the courage to move towards you to extend this offer or to see where it's going going to go. Now we're dealing with a Gemini. If you're dealing with another Gemini, very fun energy there. Let's see. If you guys are dealing with Gemini and then it, it's like twins dating twins. Like I just, you know, that's a thing and it's kind of cool. Oh my God. I can't even make this up. <laughs> Gemini, dating a Gemini and you get the lovers. So is that like lovers squared? Like, is that what, I don't, you guys are gonna have to tell me. Someone please comment what is going on. If you're dating a Gemini, this is, this is insane. Like this reading is probably one of the most craziest, coolest, epic love stories I've ever done. Okay, so we're dealing with another Gemini. Let's see what else, Let's, can we get anything else? I know the lovers is kind of self-explanatory, but absolutely true love. No one above you, no one below you. You guys are meant for one another, no? Okay, thank you. Feeling left out in the cold, coming into union. If you were having money problems, my Geminis, maybe this is just a direct message for you. If you were having money issues or anything or feeling left out in the cold in your connection, let that thought out of your mind because the five is turning into the 10. You're literally, literally doubling. And it's not funny how I was talking about how it's like a party of four. You're <laughs> doubling your blessings and abundance here too. I feel like your finances and all that stuff. This is like that wish coming in, you know, I feel like going from like Cinderella, you know, from, from soot to the ball, basically just, just amazing how things are going to transform, especially in the connection is very beautiful, very, very beautiful energy. Okay. Thanks guys. But that's, I haven't so clue. Gemini. So now we're dealing with a cancer sign. If you're dealing with a cancer Gemini, how does the cancer sign feel towards you? Let's see. You're their wish come true. Nine of cups, wishing come, wish coming in, but they're conflicted. I feel like you bring them so much happiness, but you know, there's a bit of competition 
you're everything that they want you make them super happy it could be celebrating but there could be other people like a bit of a fighting kind of thing so if you are you know with the cancer energy like they're really really happy but there's a bit of a conflict or some kind of thing maybe there was a bit of a fight or there's other people fighting for your attention so it's like not a complete 10 right but we did have the ace of cups so i feel like at the beginning if you're dealing with a cancer sign they have the nine of cups your other wish come true and you guys would complete the 10 so that's beautiful but there may be some kind of conflict or some kind of inner sort of battle with that clarifying that the wheel of fortune things will start spinning in a very positive favor in that matter if you're dealing with a cancer sign all right let's see leo if you're dealing with the leo how does the leo feel towards you Whoa, okay um story time queen of cups wanting to offer their cup they see you as someone loving caring very emotionally connected lovers coming out again gemini another soulmate connection if you're dealing with a leo we did have a lot of fire so i am not surprised this person loves you so much they really want to have this beautiful connection i don't want to take all these but well, i did see okay Ten of Pentacles at the bottom though. So Ten of Pentacles, then, you know, coming into this beautiful blessing after a period of being left out in the cold, again, maybe someone wasn't, you know, the fighting, fighting that energy, surrendering, really letting in that blessings of abundance here, ending of all that mental anguish, the Ten of Swords, the ending of this kind of burden here, could have been after a period of separation, time out was needed, conflict here, right? You know, feeling a little bit cornered. Again, some people just can't, you know, like the, the, some people you need to kind of put them in a position like that. But at the same time, you also have to accept it because this is also when people run out the back door, right? So depending on the connection, there could have been a lot of resistance. And we saw that already with the Nine of Wands earlier. Then that is ending. Victory is coming through. You will be triumphant with your daddy. Oh my God. Guys, here is daddy, the emperor, you know, this beautiful energy. Like I feel like he sees you growing or she she sees you growing however it applies really transforming really evolving and i feel like that's why like they just they're just like so in love with you they're just like oh my god like this is my person you both evolved together especially because that's the whole theme that was the whole theme maybe i was just reading for you guys that was the whole theme earlier about leveling up from the knights to the queens now you got the emperor and the lovers good job guys so that was the gemini let's see what's coming in towards wait leo sorry you're the Gemini. That was for the Leo one. I'm not going to read you guys because I was confused. I confused you. <laughs> I confused myself. This talent right there. You guys just witnessed that. If you're dealing with a Virgo. <laughs> Let's see the Virgo energy. Virgo. <laughs> confused myself. Amazing. Knight of Swords with the Virgo. Again, things could be moving quickly, uh, communication, or cutting someone out too, because that energy has like the swift sword. Someone could be wanting, wow, could definitely communication. We have the eight of wands here. Fast communication could be quick communication about passion, desire, wanting to let you know. Again, having the courage to kind of come forward with this. Let's see if we can find out what they're telling you. And I saw the ace of the page of wands. So it came out again, page of wands, knight of cups, and the knight of wands. Ooh. Okay, still just nights, but a lot of action, a lot of passion, a lot of emotion, a lot of perhaps even reciprocated sexual interest here. It is a very sexual reading, so if you're dealing with an earth sign, you know, you could be communicating things, but taking things slow, because I feel like you both just want to see where it's going, okay? Which is good. Good. Give it a chance, right? Give it a chance, guys, if we're dealing with a Virgo. Let's see, if you're dealing with a Libra, they're waiting. They could be waiting to hear from you here waiting to hear from you calmer waters maybe you left oh so you know how he's watching the boat in the distance and i kind of never know if this is you're waiting for the ships to come in or you're watching the ship leave so are you watching them leave or are you watching them come towards you wow let me know let me know how this relates because i feel like you're either watching the boat come towards you or you're watching it having left and missing this opportunity interesting why because here it was taking so long maybe things weren't progressing the way you wanted to some stuff had to end you have to come into a period of calmer water right so that the things had to heal accepting the situation forgiving also this new opportunity knight of pentacles could have taken a long time because major transformations had to happen a lot of people are going through huge changes with the scorpio energy endings and new beginnings and that communication will 
will be coming through, you will receive clarity. And I feel like if someone had to leave, there was a reason, and if they're coming back, there is a reason, and you'll find out. So that's powerful because at least people are at least communicating. So just give them a chance to explain. If you want, please, of course, you have free will to do whatever it is you wish, so allow them or not. Let's see, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, Gemini and Scorpio, that's an interesting mix. Let's see if you're, okay, I'll keep my comments to myself then. <laughs> like there was more than one that went down clean up on aisle five it went really far um so i feel like it's it's the uh what is this it's the knight of pentacles again so i feel like this person <laughs> scorpio of course literally tried to go under my couch so i feel like this person had to go really far and they're taking their time to come back because they 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 got a lot of healing or something happened in the situation that they need to recover from and they want to kind of get their energy and balance back into straight like whatever the word is there, get their balance back into order in order to come towards you. But they're taking their time because it's needed right now. That's what I got. Is there anything else for the Scorpio that doesn't want to fly across the room? Passion and new beginning. They still have the desire for you and could be wanting to bring this new opportunity to see things moving forward. If you're dealing with a Scorpio and it was a bit of a separation, that healing process and all that has to take place, but the passion and the desire is still there. Or perhaps they had to go deal with something outside of you and now they're finally moving forward to offer you that pentacle. But also under that pentacle is a very strong desire to be with you too, right? They're very sensual too as well. Okay, so that was the Scorpio energy. Sagittarius, if you're dealing with the Sagittarius, no. Sagittarius, there you are. Here we go. The Knight of Wands. They are, you know, that could be the Sag energy too. You know, hot, confident, sexy, fiery, passionate. This is how they also see you. Very sexual, very, uh, very physically driven. Okay. Also manifesting, right? Well, you had the magician too. So they could be manifesting you. You could be manifesting them or feeling a very strong pull towards you. Again, wanting to bring this together of course the timing too you know being very like this energy for some of us could feel like oh they're manipulating because of course it's that playboy kind of energy for others of you it's kind of like you know you're wanting to bring this in you're wanting to call in this person they're trying to come towards you or they're trying to come in with this message because they feel like there's so much opportunity because it's all the aces the magician holds all the aces but wanting to give something reciprocated six of pentacles at the bottom there i just have to point it out let's see capricorn if you're dealing with a capricorn corn and these are on top of what i already read for you so if you're dealing with a capricorn i try to tie it in uh, same cards from before so if you're maybe their capricorn sag energy but let's see for focus on the capricorn please for gemini thank you they could be feeling really sad okay for some of you someone could be sad because you took your cup of love somewhere else or someone might be sad, they could be sad about something else, uh, feeling slightly disappointed again. This forgiveness could be what's coming in here because we have the two cups behind them and here's the Knight of Cups coming in. So I feel like some of them could be sad about a spilt milk situation or something that didn't work out, that element of disappointment or if there was some hurt, the strength card was at the bottom. So I feel like they're, they're trying to um, heal something or they're still sad about mourning or whatever because forgiveness, emotions, there's a lot of stuff here about emotions and I know like the spectrum one minute we're happy one minute we're not so there's a lot of stuff here that I feel like that's just they're going through something or they see you as going through something so they know it might not be the right time to come in okay I wasn't done maybe we're not done so running to reciprocate give something a commitment something stable who was this this was Capricorn so that makes sense here's the king of night a uh, king of knights <laughs> king of pentacles wanting to manifest this right manifesting this connection this commitment it's beautiful reciprocated energy i feel like they definitely like they might be crying over spilled milk but this was really the real deal for them with the twin flame if you're dealing with a capricorn that could be your soulmate of course however this applies just confirming this with that they do want this commitment with you the forever kind of energy okay what is what is the energy for my beautiful aquarius please if you're dealing with an aquarius soulmate right on the soulmate six of pentacles if you're dealing with another air energy here with the soulmate card could definitely be a very strong connection could be someone from your past could also have children involved in the connection or you have children with this person or just reminiscing about a time maybe you guys do have some history giving your relationship a chance wow six of pen oh my god six of cups with the ten of cups like this is that soulmate like okay if you're dealing with an aquarius it's them 
<laughs> I'm just, I'm not gonna ask anymore. This is the emotional fulfillment you've been seeking, you've been wanting, you've been wishing, feeling like soulmate, true love. Okay, I feel like these two cards, just literally mirroring these two cards, okay? See, soulmates and the true love, the full fulfillment, emotional happiness. I always do these backwards, so bear with me, right? Here we go, true love, 10 of cups, soulmate, six of cups. Just bringing that in, just so, just so, you, just so you get it, okay? Just, just wanting to make sure. <laughs> then Aquarius, last one, we have Pisces. If you're dealing with the Pisces, what does the Pisces feel towards you? Sorry, I just wanna make sure I didn't get any flippers here. How does the Pisces feel in this connection towards my beautiful Gemini's? I know these are a little longer, but I wanna make sure that I cover everybody and I wanna give you the best. Ooh, Pisces, are you getting breadcrumbed? Are there a little bit of an element of betrayal or perhaps not full admitting here? Um, I feel like someone might not be honest. Just be a little careful with your finances. I'm not saying sticky fingers, but I'm also saying that there's an element here where you know you have a lot more to offer and they might be using some elements of your ability or just not giving you the full thing. Like you know your worth, you know you have the potential here and they could just be feeling a little bit betrayed or you are, or they're betraying you. I feel like something's gonna come to light. There could be court involved too. I see the justice card here too. Wow, this is a this is a mess. If you're dealing with the Pisces, I don't know what is happening here. A lot of healing, a lot of like, wow. I don't know. I might redo this one just because this is this is complicated. If you're dealing with the Pisces, um, maybe they're also not being honest about how well they're established financially, or perhaps they're dealing with some kind of court case. Let me just do one more for them because that could be for like maybe one person really eight of wands came out again talking about communication communicating right queen of wands so i feel like they weren't if they were lying about what they wanted to offer with you i feel like they're communicating it's coming in slow it could be quick if it was slow it's coming in fast but they're not telling you like it's a knight right it's not the queen we just saw the queen so i feel like what they weren't telling you or hiding it's gonna come out but it's still being downplayed okay right two two swords in front five in the back so we're kind of keeping it's still holding back as to how much commitment they want with you. Maybe they do see the full future with you, but they don't want to admit it all in front. All right, so before we end today, I'm gonna to be ending with Archangel Michael. I love this deck so much. Um, of course, no disrespect to any faiths or religions, but I love these cards. They're a prayer. I read them in a prayer form. Please receive the message however you wish. I do, like I said, I'll pray them to you here. We're gonna see what the messages are from Archangel Michael. And this is such a beautiful energy to bless and bring this beautiful peacefulness towards you. Archangel Michael and all archangels and angels and ancestors and whoever you believe in are all available at your request. We have free will, so you have to ask them to come and join you if you need their help. We've got quite a bit here, so we have four messages. So I'm gonna, the first one was, you and your loved ones are safe. Beautiful, and this time, this is such a beautiful blessing. So of course, invite him to protect your home and your loved ones anytime. Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones and feel free to name them all. Please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthy and happy life. It is so beautiful. Love this card so much. Wow, okay, you got forgiveness twice today. And Archangel Michael is also asking you for forgiveness. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong, okay, depending on the situation. I ask that you help me let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger and fear toward others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. The beautiful lamb in his arms, which, you know, it's a very peaceful, significant animal in, in religion as well, but just, I'm holding the baby too. So this is, this is just such a beautiful opportunity of reclaiming your innocence here, okay? Be gentle with yourself. Guys, stop being so hard on yourselves, please, please. Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love and everything I think, speak and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion, especially for yourself. I release any feelings of guilt so that you, wait, I feel, I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I'm sorry, so that I may experience lasting inner peace. This is even hard for me to say. So how hard is it for you? You know, I feel like whatever you're going through, guys, like just pray for one another because we, we're just here. There's so much energy with the lambs here. 
So I feel like for many of you, there's a lot of peace you need and a lot of inner peace. So you have to give this to yourself first before you can do that. So all that forgiving and the mirroring, you know, this is like just you needing to accept these things. And perhaps that toxic behavior, you know, sometimes it starts with us, right? And not to anyone else. It could just be our own toxic behaviors to ourselves. Explore your options, okay? And I, <laughs> Gemini's, you have many, okay? Dear God, Thank you for your wisdom and love, helping me see, understand, and assess all of my alternative options. Please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness, and life's purpose. And you're gonna jump on that unicorn right off into the sunset because you guys deserve the best. Archangel Michael, thank you for coming in with us today to share these beautiful messages. And thank you for spending all this time with me. I love you so much. These were a little different and a little longer this month, so thank you again for your patience. Check out all the other videos. Focus on the titles so you can see which ones resonate and might fit your situation better. And of course, as always, God bless, love and light. See you all soon. Bye!